Good morning. It's uh, about 45 minutes until the open, 545 here on the West Coast. Uh, the uh, futures are pointing down. They have been down. They were down the long weekend. They were down, down Sunday night. Trading, they got as low as 808 in the uh, Sunday-Monday session. And uh, now they're opening right around, uh, not opening, but they're trading right around 800. They've been as low as 799 and are trading 800 right now. Again, the pivot today is up a little bit higher, 808. So we are uh, below the pivot, and you, you want to play to the short side as long as we stay below 808. So sell rallies to 808. Dow futures are down 140. Uh, I'm, I'm going to call out the 777 number on the uh, spoos today that we'll see that number. Lucky 7. So look for another uh, 23 points to the downside. We're already down 20. I think you can get short here and probably hold for uh, that area, 777. Uh, would be my guess, as long as we stay under 808. So that's the uh, plan for today. Uh, get shorty. Uh, I think we're finally going to break this 800 level. Um, Geithner, uh, G7, nobody was happy with uh, his plan over there. The European nations weren't happy with uh, the U.S. basically saying, hey, we're going to create more debt and create more burden for everybody else in the world. So uh, you're starting to get some uh, reaction flack from the rest of the world as uh, they're tiring of the U.S. The problem being the U.S. markets have been one of the best performing markets for the year, even with being down 33% or so in uh, 08. We're down again this year about 10%, and uh, markets are continuing to waver here. I think we do need this flush. Nobody's talking about the flush finally, so maybe we'll finally get the flush when nobody's expecting it, and this is what I said would happen. You have to get to the point. Uh, I thought we'd see a rally, a uh, more significant rally than we saw. Uh, we didn't see it, which is fine. Again, we've said all along, as long as we stay in this 800 to 875, there's really nothing to do but trade it in that zone. Now, we're, if we break under it, you want to get short. If we break above it, you want to get long. It's as simple as that right now. So we're, we're going to new levels, possibly today. Again, it's pre-market here. We're hanging right around 800. Oil has rolled over. Uh, the shenanigans on, on, on the H contract are done. We're over to the J contract. So uh, oil should continue to, uh, I believe, also roll back over price-wise. And uh, it's a tough market to trade here, folks, but uh, be careful out there. And uh, let's see what happens this week. This, there's, it's, again, short week, four days, uh, but we're back at it. Uh, we're, we're, we're back to uh, nine days left in the month of February, and that's going to be some uh, volatile action into the Ides of March. March can sometimes be uh, a mini October, if you will. A lot of bad things happen in March uh, over history. So keep this in mind. We're coming into the March month, and uh, that is what I can tell you. Gold is up. Oil's down. Oil again trading about 35.74. That was a great short opportunity on, on the uh, rollover contract last week. Thank you very much for the uh, shenanigans. Happy to sell that. Uh, FTSE is down about 2%. Uh, CAC is down uh, almost 3 So uh, it's ugly in Europe, and uh, I don't expect that to change here without a uh, plunge protection team uh, intervention here or something like that. Again, your pivot, 808. Uh, sell up to that area today and uh, get shorty.